So today's little project is upgrading the washer dryer combo in the motorhome. Got the old one out. Um, removal was basically just taking off the cabinet doors. This uh, shelf up here has a false bottom, uh, which is this. It's not even attached, pulls right out. Once you get back here, you see your drain, hot and cold water valves. Over here, you got your dryer vent and your 115 power plug. So I took the standard cheap $11 Harbor Freight furniture dolly and uh, took some long uh, wood screws, some three and a quarter inch wood screws and some scrap pieces of two by four and made this platform. Uh, made it about one inch under the lip. Taking the old one out, rocking it forward, it was hitting uh, this counter. So it is kind of tight getting it out. It is also very heavy. Uh, it probably weighs 160 pounds. Uh, if I had to uh, to guess, I'll look at the uh, freight document on the uh, replacement. Uh, they both should be about the uh, same weight. So. We took it down the hallway to get it out the door, right? You do need to spin the seat around in this position uh, to slide it through. Uh, taking the old one out, gravity is your friend. So there was little issue getting the old one out. Uh, getting the new one in may be a different animal. So, if anyone tackles this job, uh, get help. Like I said, it is very heavy. Uh, there was this trim piece on the bottom, right? Uh, that came out with just three screws. Uh, the washer dryer itself was not bolted down. It was just kind of uh, sitting in there in place with its own weight. Um, what's in the very back there is actually the uh, what you're seeing is actually the blower motor for furnace number two. So I'll come back um, as I get the old one in and uh, let you know what those struggles were. I think uh, I can give it a pull, get somebody else to give it a push, and it should uh, come right up. Well, that was uneventful. Got it up the steps in the box and uh, unboxed it in here, put it on the dolly slid it right into place now I'm just doing the final connections so it is currently in place and hooked up I'm going to uh, make sure that we do a test cycle a complete wash and dry before I put the cabinetry back together that way I can uh, look down the back check for leaks all that
pretty uh, straightforward installation. Um, it looked like that I would damage the dryer hose, unthreading it from the original piece. So I just left it alone. It was a perfect uh, match. So I just reused the old uh, vent installation o-ring. Uh, getting the screws started is kind of challenging because uh, you know you're working blind. But a good uh, flashlight helps out. I pulled it out about uh, four inches from where it is now to hook the vent up. Uh, getting those two uh, opposing screws started was probably the most uh, challenging part of the whole thing. So what I did to keep from dropping the screw is I simply taped the screw to the screwdriver. That way you can get it started. If you use the uh, blue masking tape, um, it just pulls right off once you uh, start the screw. Because if you drop that little tiny screw, uh, you obviously have to search for another. This is a uh, spare that I took off of the old washer. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna, since the old washer works, I think I'm just going to put it on Facebook Marketplace for free. Uh, that will save uh, me from hauling it to the dump. Someone I'm sure can use it for for parts or something. I know the uh, uh, the pumps in the uh, 2000 series um, are pretty notorious for failing. So not a bad job. It is heavy. Uh, works smart. Wear a back brace. And uh, good luck. I'll, I'll come back and let you know how this thing uh, washes compared to the uh, compared to the 2000 series or the 2000s that it replaced. More to come. Thanks. The new one is installed and working well. When I was a kid, when I was eight years old, it just seemed so magnificent. A system of laws. We don't have that. And the legal profession, I was so... Millions of Americans like you are watching Newsmax.